some holographic fun. Start with your square canvas and start with this darker color gray and fill in the whole layer and then you're going to rotate it, fit to screen and then rotate again. Now I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to fill that in with a little bit lighter of a color of gray and I'm going to rotate that one and we'll fit to screen and then we're just going to duplicate that one and make it a little bit lighter as well so we can see which layers we're on and now I'm going to make that one a little bit smaller and center it and then rotate it. So now we have all our elements. Now what we're going to do is put a layer below that last one and I'm going to go to my black color with a soft brush, pasty down just a little bit. I'm just going to draw a line around the outside edges of each one and Gaussian blur it in. So put a layer below each element and draw the black line in Gaussian blur. Now each layer has a shadow. Now click on your layers that have the shapes on them and turn them into alpha lock. Then I'm gonna go pick a blue color and go to my holographic brushes. And I'm just gonna go over each one. And then because they're on alpha lock, they're only color on the element and not the shadow. Now I'm going to pinch them all together and with a snapping on, I'm going to make sure that we snap them to the corner. I'm going to duplicate and snap it to the bottom corner. Then this one I'm going to snap in the middle and it'll snap there so that when you duplicate the next one, you just move it up and line up the two blue nodes that are in the middle of the square and so forth for that bottom one and snap them all together again. And then we're going to duplicate them and put them into the corners again. I'm going to turn the background to black, and there you go.